Hey everybody out there, I just wanted to show you what I uh, just did. Um, my my rhinestone, the Stardust uh, CGP, Casio CGP 700. It's fully, fully, fully wrapped up now. Um, the reason I took it with me, it couldn't fit in storage. And um, it was going in the pickup truck, so I had to wrap it up really good, you know. I, I, I thought it was going to be in storage, but it couldn't fit in storage, so I had to take it with me. Um, I'm at my mom's house right now, so she gave me um, the cellophane wrap right over here and uh, some tape. And while I was in the truck, it was coming apart. I didn't put too much cellophane on it. And um, now it's fully, fully wrapped up. Now, only thing I need to do is get some more packing tape and secure it and so next time it goes on a pickup truck it's not gonna yeah, I mean the music desk looked like honestly the music desk looked like it was gonna fly out and I spent so much time doing that music desk I spent so much time doing the whole piano I was freaking out on the way from Fort Lauderdale to Miami and um, so I wrapped it up really really good I even I even flipped it over and wrapped up the bottom pieces I can, and I can show you that so it's it's really wrapped up and a lot of people said oh you you kinked out your your rhinestone kink, kink you know made, made it too kinky I'm like you guys have sick minds <laughs> the pedals are wrapped up underneath this wrapped up as you can see kind of lifts up a little bit there so everything everything is wrapped up what I should have done is I should have wrapped it up with the dolly because uh, I don't want the dolly to get soaked, but I can easily make another dolly, so that's no problem. But yeah, this is it. Just some um, cellophane. If you're ever going on a trip or putting it into storage, this is the best thing you want to do for your digital piano or your keyboard. And, um, you know, um, what I should have done is um, there's this packing material I can show you right over here. It's like a foam and what I should have done is I should have put that on the keys first which I, I, I still could do you know and I'm gonna put it over the keys and um, over the music desk basically like right over here and I could um, wrap it up again with more cellophane because I got more you know so just just wanted to show you um, this is a great idea to do if you're putting it in storage or um, you know you have a long trip and you don't you really care about your musical instrument this one I really care about because I did so much work on it and I took too much time on it the only thing about it is that I do have two CGP 700s one of them is a regular one and the, this is the rhinestone and I was thinking about you know thinking about doing the other one the same thing as this one so I have a backup so this one could be fully wrapped up and the other one just, um, you know, just to play out with. So anything goes wrong with that one, I have this one. So when I make some more money, I'll, I'll probably get another CGP 700 and, um, and do the same thing. But yeah, this is all wrapped up and um, it looks good. So uh, yeah, comment on it see what you think about it and I you know I noticed that people started to do it after I did it <laughs> now if it's if the keyboard's gonna be played out um, or in the Sun and stuff like that uh, or say if, if, if it's gonna be transported in the Sun the best thing to do is use that wrap the um, the phone that I told you about and it'll, it'll block it'll block this area and everything like that the the rhinestone's not that much because um, the sun will just propel itself itself off of it. If it's the black and it's the cellophane, you might want to use this, um, the foam wrap because you don't want the black actually sun bleaching your your key. I mean, actually, you don't want the sun sun bleach your keyboard for the for the black or whatever color it is. Um, the dolly. A lot of people was asking me about the dolly. Um, I don't know if Harbor Freight has locations around your area, but in Florida there's Harbor Freight and you get these wheels, um, you know, those are um, called uh, rubber gum wheels 
and they glide over anything. So you see these cracks. I can push it with my hand and it glides very, very nice. I'm not even using force on my hand. It just instantly glides. Um, I leave the piano on a dolly because after I finish playing with it, I put it, I load it up in a, in a, in a truck and there it goes. I don't have to disassemble anything. Um, and also the dolly itself is just, um, go to Lowe's or Home Depot, get two planks. There's a plank right here and there's a plank right over here. Um, and measure the distance of your digital piano. And I put two other boards on each side just to stabilize the, the two planks because right over here there's nothing in between and nothing else is holding it except for a lot of screws as you can see. Uh, two two by fours on each side. And I have felt pieces right over here so it doesn't scratch the bottom of the... Um, of the piano. Even though it's the bottom of the piano, you, you want to be cautious of your instrument, you know? Um, I also have felt pieces underneath the piano itself. So, you know, it, 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 could, it could stay in one place. Another thing that I suggest, you can separate the felt piece, I mean, you could, you could substitute the felt pieces with Velcro. If you want to keep this on a dolly, the best thing to do is keep it with Velcro and it'll be good. The reason I have two CGP 700s, um, as I said, I don't, I don't want to use the rhinestone too much, so I get the black regular version and everything like that, but I can use this dolly for either or of the CGP 700 or any Privia that has the, um, that has the, the optional stand for it. Um, the uh, SP33 pedals, uh, that's optional, and you can, um, you can basically get that... Um, off of like Musician's Friend or Craft Music or Sweetwater Sound. Um, I don't know if Guitar Center or um, Sam Ash has it. But okay, not in a nutshell. This is what I did to protect my my gem. That's what I call it, my gem. Because um, it took a lot of time just to do this. Oh, and by the way, you're not putting any pressure on the keys. The keys are locked. So you're not putting any pressures on a key, so that's that's what the Casio's made for. Before the keyboard comes out the company, it goes through a, a number of random tests through the keyboard. So before you play the keyboard, people in the company test out the keyboard and also it's run by a machine that actually, just like on an acoustic piano, this is a Steinway right here, and it's run, they're run by a machine, a mechanical machine that plays the notes over a million times. So the the action on the Casio is very very doable and it um it could withstand anything. Casio keyboards, I absolutely love them because even the, the smallest keyboards from their like, like their SA series to the bigger keyboard like the Privia and the CTK WK series, MZs, they could withstand anything. You could drop it and it'll still play. Dead serious. So, as I said, just like an action on an acoustic piano, um, the action will stand anything. So, if the keys feel pressed, they're not going up and down. The, the black, you know, the sharps are, you can still press them and everything like that. But you're not like you're going to play it or anything like that. But it's not a problem if the keys stay down. So, that's, that's no problem. Alright, so uh, write back to me what you think. Um, this is just a tip that I'm just showing you guys on how to wrap up your keyboard. If you're going to take a long trip, if you're going to have it in the back of a pickup truck or even in a moving van or even a moving truck, you don't want dust on it and you want to protect your investment, this is how to do it. All right. And also, if you really want to tech, uh, protect your investment, just put a cardboard box over it. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll see you. Bye-bye.